In this video, we're going to cover how to configure power-ups, or pink blocks. To configure a pink block, we're going to click on the Config tab. That's this tab with the wrench. This will allow us to open up the configure settings. I'm going to click on one of these to configure it. Underneath the pink block, you'll see a lightning ball icon and a heart icon. The lightning ball is a character change, and the heart is a recovery item. I want this to be a character change power-up, so I'm going to leave it at that. To change the character settings, I'm going to go over to this blue panel with the character and all of the sliders and buttons. This is just like Character Lab. If I go up here and click on Milo, I can open up my character library and import my own character, or an asset pack character. When you import a character, notice how the settings change to map to that character's abilities that you have set in Character Lab. Over here on the left are character presets. These can also be configured further, and are more for express creation. If I want to make a change to my settings, I can go back into that power-up and do just that. There's also a randomizer in the presets. This will randomize any of the settings. It can be fun to play around with. Now that we've covered the basics of a character swap power-up, Let's try configuring a recovery power-up. This item will recover any health lost from enemies or hazards. You can set how many hearts you'd like this to recover, from 1 to 9. 